Shall we begin? What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So there's a YouTube channel called Trim Trim and it is a very clickbait video farm. And they're just looking for view counts. A lot of the video thumbnails are very clickbait. I was just scrolling through my recommendation list and it popped up. So I was like, what the heck? So I had to click on it because I was confused. And I was like, really, what are the hair hacks? So I was watching the video, I decided I should make a hairdresser reacts. Not only half the stuff is fake and made up, but the other half, it can't be done. So I was thinking maybe doing a hair hack video of trying what they decide. And not further ado, let's just get into the video. How much does getting my hair dyed cost at a salon? <laughs> what? I could buy a pony with that much money. Oh! You can buy a pony with that much money. That's so weird. Myself. I just need a lot of paper. Cut rolls of colored crepe paper into strips. Cover every color with hot water in separate containers. Put the top strands of your hair you want to dye into a ponytail. And dip the ends of the ponytail into the latest color from the palette. Okay, just to let you know, this is not going to work. Just because you chopped up color paper, put hot water in, it's not going to mean the color is going to come out and your hair is going to magically get stained. That is literally impossible. Um, this actually be a good video for me to test, debunk this theory, which is, I know is 100% false. Because I feel like some people are going to come at me saying, oh, it's so true, but I should make, I'll do a video just kind of debunking it. but. This, this won't work, just because it's not going to, like, I don't know what to say, like, this is like all completely made up. They probably literally put a lot of food coloring inside that to make it look like all the color came out of the color paper. Meanwhile, they put a lot of fake dye <clears throat> through it. But, alright, let's just continue. Keep your hair in it for a few minutes. Take it out and blot it with a paper towel. Dye the bottom strands the same way using darker shades. Soak them in the colored liquid. And pat it dry with a paper towel. Blow dry your hair. Dyeing your hair can be colorful and cheap. This looks just as good as if I'd gone to a salon. Yeah, no it doesn't. <laughs> She has like a harsh line. Oh my god. She has a really harsh line. It does not look good. And she did not get that by chopping up color paper, using hot water, and dipping her hair in. That is physically impossible. Oh my goodness. The things that they come up with, it's crazy. If you don't have a lot of time, but a lot of friends, braid each other's hair. Rosie's hairstyle is very simple, but it looks great. Separate a strand of hair and twist it so you get a loop. Pull another strand of hair through it. Twist it into a loop the same way. Keep braiding towards the other side and fasten it with a bobby pin. Well, first thing, that's going to it's like fall out. and very easy. That's going to fall out real and meanwhile, fast. meanwhile, Stephanie is also working on her stylist skills. Part the hair and make two low ponytails. Separate the hair over the tie and pull the tail through the hole. Make a French braid out of the French strands. What is going on with her hair? She has like a black middle of her hair. Slightly pull out some strands to add more volume to the braid. Wrap the ends of the braids around the ponytails. Cindy has a whole collection of bobby pins. That's a she wants good to pull bit. off a nice hairstyle. But something goes wrong. Her bobby pins conspired against her. Cindy is ready to take extreme measures. Meanwhile, she was trying bobby pins on her side. Time. 
she was trying to bobby pin the other side, but yeah, she was going to cut the other side. That makes no sense. Leave the scissors alone and use a simple trick. Comb your hair to the side. Fasten the strands near the temple with bobby pins. Attach a whole row of colorful bobby pins. This hairstyle is great for short hair too. Cindy's hairdo and mood got better right away. I just don't understand how that's a hack. Like literally she wanted to get the hair out of her face and that one side is completely covering her face still. So I'm just confused why this was in the video. Don't have a hair tie nearby? Just put it behind but your you ear. Do you have a rubber glove? Take the thick ring off a rubber glove. Use it instead of a hair tie. Now your hair won't get in the way of your art. Or you just like a regular push it pencil your can ear. help you control your unruly hair. Twist your hair into a knot at the back. And stick in a pencil to fasten it. You can also use a pen or a brush. My hair needs something special. Pearls might help me. I'll copy a hairstyle I saw on Instagram. Tie a ponytail on the side. Wrap a string of pearls around the hair tie. Start making a braid out of two strands and the pearls. Gradually braid in thin strands from the ponytail. Turn the braid and go down the ponytail so that the string of pearls is always on the edge of the braid. Wrap it around the ponytail a few times. Fasten the ponytail with a hair tie. Decorate it with a string of pearls. I mean, that's alright. That's cute. Cut off the excess. That's pretty cute, actually. And your hair is done. low-key dying I just need to stop watching this because I can't take this anymore <laughs> this is like literally torture just like trying to sit through this stuff it's very how inaccurate they are it's just not true oh my goodness but that's just some of my thoughts about Trim Trim <laughs> I mean the list could go on and on and on but I'm not trying to diss a channel or anything like that. I think it's just kind of inappropriate just being a clickbait farm where you just worry about views and not about the quality of the work that you put out. It's just, it just blows my mind. I do want to test a few of their videos out on a mannequin head and film it. So if you're interested in seeing that, just let me know, comment down below. And also just comment down below which part of the video that you liked of Trim Trims. And of course, I'm going to link all of the videos that I watched in here down on the link below. And I'm just putting this out. I am doing this as fair use. I'm not trying to infringe on anything. So if you liked today's video, just give this video a like and also click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. So until then, bye!